Hello, Internet. Um, gave you a moment here. What you're seeing right now is a super user icon on my brand new phone that I got from insurance today from T-Mobile. It's right there. And guess what? If we go to settings. And it shows the build number as the NDL version of the build of the Android build if you can see it see MDL on on and root on MDL so with that being said today's video is going to show you guys how to attain root on the M919 UVU AMDL software update if you've already did an over the air update or you just got the fresh new batch of GS4s or in my regard you had to get the new batch because of because of insurance reasons well I'm going to show you guys today how to obtain root and all that and just as a heads up this will be filmed across a couple different cameras because I want to show you guys all the action and stuff and just as a fair warning and as a heads up and to get this right off the bat now I'm not responsible for what you do to your device, be it good, bad, neutral, whether you have a successful root, successful custom firmware recovery installs, thermonuclear wars, your boss getting mad at you over the alarm app being, or your boss getting mad at you over late because your alarm app crashed on you or whatever else. What you do with your phone is your responsibility, not mine, but I've tested it on mine and it does work as you can see. So here's how to get root. Um, first thing you want to do is you want to prep everything if you haven't done so. You need to get a software program called Samsung Keys, Kies. It's spelled K-I-E-S. If anyone has any idea on how to pronounce that, feel free to correct me. In any case, you need to grab that particular software package for, for the Samsung drivers. Pretty much all I need it for right now. Just as a fair warning before you get started, before you install it, you may want to update your your Java as well as disable the antivirus because on some systems it's been found that during the Samsung keys, Kai's, however you pronounce that installation the install will hang on the adding hotfix or whatever thing and the status bar just keep going and going and going and repeating itself not doing anything so to get that out of the way make sure your Java is installed and updated and your antivirus is temporarily disabled. Next thing you want to do is put a file called root underscore m919 uvu amdl dot zip from the XDA developers forum. You'll need to put this on your SD card or your internal storage. It does not matter. One way or the other, your recovery will find it. It will find both the internal storage and the SD card just fine. Next off, you'll want to use download and install a software called Odin version 3.07 next thing you want to do is, in, is download the um, the tarball or the uh, Odin flashable versions of either OUDHS custom recovery clockwork mod or TWRP personally a guy named Matt Elgroff that compiled the guide for us on XDA recommends OUDHS and so does Codename. That's what I used, and that's what we'll be using in today's video. And when you have all that installed, you'll get ready to go to the next step, which is to put your phone into download mode. Now, just as a fair warning and a heads up from here, you may want to take the back off of your phone, but that covers the battery. See, I'm turning my phone off. You'll want to take the back off of your phone. That way, it'll expose your battery. Because not only will you need it after the, rec the the custom recovery of your choice is installed, but I've also had trouble getting into download mode on my own. And it bears the back of the phone. Now, how to get into download mode is you'll need to push the vol push and hold the volume down button. Sears so volume up, volume down, the power is right over there. You need to push and hold the volume down button 
and the power button. Now after it vibrates, well like I said it will take a little while and I'm still getting used to the download mode so we're going to pull the battery and we're going to try again. Volume down, power on, vibrate, let it go, and ladies and gentlemen, we are in download mode. Sweet. Now it says that, and you get the, the little disclaimer there, you will be able to see it when you, when you get in the download mode. Then you push the volume up button to enter download mode. And the screen should look something like this. And now, and after you do all that, it's time for the next step, which is to prepare Odin. And then the next thing you want to do is after you download the Odin zip file, you'll want to put it in a separate folder. What I did personally was this is my desktop there. I put everything in a folder called Odin 307. Then you want to go up to Odin 3v307.exe. Open that up, and if you're on Windows 7, you'll get this disclaimer. Just hit yes. And Odin should look something like this. Um, just as a fair warning, do not touch this. Do not touch this option right here, the repartition. That will screw your device up. We won't be needing it anyway. But thought I'd give that as a fair warning because Conan keeps stressing this in every single tutorial he makes with Odin. Then the next thing you want to do is uncheck auto reboot. Then the next part down here you want to go where it says PDA. Then you want to browse your documents or wherever it is you put the put your recovery installation. I've got Clockwork Mod here, and I've got the OUDHS. So we're personally going to use OUDHS, and we're going to click Open, and that's what it looks like there. And the next thing you want to do then is hook your computer, is hook your phone to the computer. Of course, you do this with a USB cord. Like that. Okay, so now we got our phone, our GS4 hooked up. Hooked up to the computer through USB. The endpoint is right there. So now it's time to go through the Odin and Odin up your custom firmware. And then, you, then after you get everything hooked in, you want to hook start, or push start, and that should look like this. And recovery took about 4 seconds this time around to install. When I first did it, it took about 5 seconds. So I guess unless if it takes more than 10 seconds to install your custom recovery, then there's something wrong. But in any case, your Odin output should look something like this. And your Android screen output should look something like that. So the next thing you want to do now is unplug your GS4 from the computer, then pull the battery. Because as a heads up, there's been uh, many people that complained about the GS4 not making recovery stick unless you do the battery pull and, and uncheck the auto reboot. So, I'm going to reinstall the battery. Then, I believe you hold down volume up. Come on, volume up. Then, push in the power button. Samsung Galaxy S4. Okay, so I fat fingered the volume button, the volume up button. 
but you should have something that says recovery loading or recovery booting rather in the top corner and here we are we are in the OUDHS recovery if you're familiar with clockwork mod it works something like that so you want to go down to install zip from the SD card um, you can either choose a zip from the SD card which is the internal or choose zip from the external SD card then scroll up or down until you find the root file the root with the long m919uvuamdl.zip then you want to hit yes see of course there's not so many no's in this recovery so hit yes then the output should look like this and then you want to go back go back reboot and we're gonna sit here and wait until the GS4 comes up there it is okay so we're now back in the in the Samsung um, application screen we now have a, a super user like before and titanium backup so we're gonna go down to where it says titanium backup and we have root Da, 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 da. Now, there is was a known issue where Wi-Fi would not work with this particular root update. So look at the updates for a minute. See, we got Wi-Fi going. Wi-Fi. Well, Amazon uh, M Amazon MP3 Music is updating, but we got Wi-Fi calling going. So I'm gonna turn it around and we're gonna give it a try. I'm sure you remember this from the initial impressions video review. That's the good old 12 and touch hotline. So we're going to try that. We're going to go to phone. Then we're going to hit just once. Now we're in the phone. Hey, YouTube updated. And as you can see, Wi-Fi calling is working just fine on the route. So, from there, that's it. You're all done. You have just routed your Samsung Galaxy S4 using the latest MDL update firmware. And I'm a venture link, and we're going to close this tutorial out, as always, by quoting Eric the Car Guy and saying, be safe, have fun, and stay dirty. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, praise, criticisms, etc. about this re about this tutorial, hit me up in the comments section. If you have any questions about mobile devices as a whole, ish, which covers Android, iOS, Windows Phone, and Blackberry slash Research and Motion, then hit up the XDA developer forums. But just as a fair warning, their community is bigger than my Grand Marquis and most 80s Cadillacs combined. Um, if you remember those big cars from back in the day. So do search before posting. Most likely your questions have already been answered. Asked and answered rather at least once, if not several times. So again, search before posting, let alone making an account there. And it's getting kind of be warm outside and, and humid, so make sure you stay cool and stay hydrated and stay healthy. Don't forget to scan your spoo. Sometimes your pee slip. See you next time. Have a nice day. And remember, I'm bad, and that's good. I will never be good, and that's not bad. Because there's no one I'd rather be than me.